Today, we will take you on board Amtrak's high-speed train, the Acela. We will travel from New York City to Washington DC in just 2 hours and 45 minutes. From seat features, train stops, views to the Acela Cafe on board the train, we will show you everything you need to know before your next journey. So let's pick up our journey on the ground of New York City at 12 p.m. Amtrak's trains leave from the famous Penn Station, which is located at the heart of Manhattan. You can easily reach it via subway. Coming from Brooklyn, taking a subway to Penn Station is way faster compared to taking a cab or the bus. The 1, 2, 3 and A, C and E trains stop right by Penn Station. Once you get off the subway, it takes about 5 to 10 minutes by foot to reach the main train hall. Amtrak's trains usually leave from Manihan Train Hall, which is a newly renovated train hall and serves as an extension of the larger Pennsylvania station complex. Getting to Manihan Train Hall from Penn Station is quick and easy. Follow the signs that lead you up an escalator. From there, you simply have to cross the street and enter the Manihan Train Hall. Manihan Train Hall features a grand light-filled atrium with a glass and steel roof, providing a more pleasant and comfortable waiting environment for passengers. You can also find Amtrak's Metropolitan Lounge at this train hall. If you're traveling on an Acela First Class ticket, you can access the lounge when departing or arriving. However, not all of Amtrak's trains leave from Manihan Train Hall, so make sure to double check what track your train is leaving from once you arrive at the train station. In our case, the Acela left from Penn Station. It turned out that the train had a delay of about one hour, so we grabbed a drink and some food to make time pass a little quicker. Around 2 p.m. boarding finally started, so we quickly made our way to the track. The Acela Express is Amtrak's fastest train service, offering high-speed travel between New York and Washington. It operates on dedicated tracks that allows it to reach speeds of up to 150 miles per hour in some sections, reducing travel time significantly. It is important to notice that the Acela only offers business and first class seating. The main differences are that seats in first class are even more spacious with additional legroom, and first class passengers enjoy an elevated level of service with additional complimentary amenities such as complimentary meals, a selection of alcoholic beverages, priority boarding, and access to the lounge. We book business class tickets for this trip with seats on the second car, which is the quiet car and perfect for if you want to get some work done on the train. Similar to a plane, the Acela has overhead bins with two seats right and left underneath. The seats are spacious and comfortable. They come with a footrest as well as a table that you can use for your laptop, food or similar. If you want to get a little more comfortable, you can also adjust the backrest and close the curtain. After a few minutes, the train started moving and we made our way towards the first stop in New Jersey. 
The Acela travels multiple times every day and stops in Newark, Iceland, Philadelphia, Wilmington, Baltimore, and finally Washington DC. After about one hour on the train, we made our way to the Acela Cafe located in Car 4. It feels nice and spacious, with lots of natural light coming in through the big windows. The Acela Cafe offers a quite diverse menu, with a range of breakfast, lunch, dinner and snack options. Passengers can find items such as sandwiches, salads, hot dogs and burgers, and a selection of hot and cold beverages. The cafe also offers additional seating, where you can eat and drink while enjoying the nice views. We tried the breakfast sandwich, as well as the egg white and cheese sandwich. Both were good, but nothing too special. After about 20 minutes, we made our way back to our seats to work and enjoy the views. Every car comes with free water and a bathroom. The bathrooms are quite spacious, but could be a little cleaner. After 2 hours and 45 minutes, we finally approached Washington's Union Station. Union Station in Washington DC is not just a transportation hub. It is a historic and architecturally significant landmark, which first opened in 1907. Right outside Union Station's main hall, you will find taxis as well as a bus stop. After less than 3 hours, we made it to Washington DC. Besides of the delay, we had a relaxed, comfortable and overall pleasant journey. We hope you enjoyed joining us virtually on this Amtrak journey. Let us know your thoughts and any questions down below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more.